Hi, I'm Mary Caton, a sports writer with the Windsor Star, and we're here today with Glenn Mills, president of the Essex Ravens Football Club. We're here to talk about a couple of new programs the Ravens are offering in the fall, Bantam Travel Football for 13 and 14-year-olds and uh, Pee Wee for 11 and 12-year-olds. So tell us a little bit about the history of why you're getting into this. Well, it, uh, the OVFL decided to uh, venture into fall last year, so um, we kind of took the year off and wanted to see how it went, and uh, it went over extremely well. So we decided they've been kind of hounding us and hounding us to, uh, to get on board. So we said, you know what, let's throw a hat in the ring and let's give it a try. And, uh, and this year we decided to go with it. So it, uh, it, you know, it, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, you know, the level of competition is, is actually very, very surprising for the age group of the kids. And, uh, you know, a lot of these kids, first time they've ever went on a bus and different things like that. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I get, I'm coaching the, young, uh, the 13, 14-year-old team, and I'm having a blast. And tell us, how was the turnout as far as numbers for both teams? You know what, our, one t uh, our Pee Wee team had a few more kids. Um, it, it had about 32, uh, it has about 32 players. Our Bantam, we're looking for some more players. They have 20, 22 right now. We're hoping to pick up another 8 to 10 players. Um, that one, we, were, we thought we were going to get a few more guys from our Bantam team that uh, graduated this year, or didn't graduate, that went back to play Windsor Minor. Unfortunately, some of them decided to stay at Windsor Minor. Um, so we're looking at uh, picking up a few guys for, for that age group. Now, being that it's a fall program as opposed to some of the summer stuff you offer, you're kind of uh, in the same territory as Wexa Jr. How have you been able to work that out with the, uh, the high school league? Well, one thing we talked about is we, uh, we told all the players that anybody who has, has an opportunity to play high school football or, their junior, or has a junior program at their school, um, that uh, you must go out for your junior team. Um, if they have a surplus of players in your cut, you're more than welcome to come out. Um, we didn't want to interfere with junior football. I think it's important that kids play for their own high schools. Um, now, if they don't, if they play at a school that does not have junior football, and, and they they're in our program or they want to come out and play, they're more than welcome to come out. Um, we just we didn't want to interfere with junior football. And the turnout you were saying is pretty good across the province. Both these leagues are pretty big. A seven, uh, 14 teams and. Uh, eight in the other, did you say? There, eight, there's eight? 14 in the Pee Wee age group, wow. and there's uh, 12 in the uh, 12 in the Bantam age group, and and that's only tier one. Um, there's a whole another league that has all tier two, which probably has about the same amount of numbers in tier two, which is you know just a step down. Some of the people didn't think they could compete at tier one, so uh, so they played tier two. So there's a lot of kids playing uh, fall football, travel fall football. Oh, I guess yeah, and as you were saying, it's a chance for kind of the best of the best to, to butt heads against each other. Sure, it's a great opportunity to compete against some of the top centers, um, and, and not only the top centers, the top players, right? Some kids don't have high school football. The Toronto kids, they don't have junior high school football. Some kids don't have um, minor football, or they're too big, or they have weight limits and things like that, so they, they you know, gives them another opportunity to be able to compete against some of the elite kids in the province of Ontario. Yeah, and your home games are at Villanova. Our home games, we're going to continue to play at Villanova. We played there last year, um, our three age group teams, and we're going to play there again this year. And then uh, we travel, we, we're in Hamilton, uh, London, um, I think we're in Twin Cities, which is Kitchener, for one game, and I think we're in Niagara as well for another game. So yeah, all of our home games will be at Villanova, though, on Saturdays. Uh, the uh, Pee Wees will usually play at noon, and the Bantams will play at 2. Sounds like we've got to check them out. Thanks for joining us here today, Glenn. Thank you, Mary.